Murray Gibson is district manager for Pure Leader Canada. He joins us beside the Great Cup. And it's interesting because the, the term, uh, you know, when we hear about tackle hunger, we always attach Pure Leader to it. Pure Leader Tackle Hunger. Very interesting program. Uh, why did Pure Leader choose to get involved? Uh, for Pure Leader, it's really important for us to be able to give back in, to the communities we, we operate in. And, you know, 13 years ago, we saw an opportunity to join with the Canadian food banks, so we did. And uh, tomorrow is going to be our Calgary uh, Tackle Hunger Game Day uh, food drive. So, as you said, um, uh, fans can come down with a non-perishable food item, uh, cash donation, and in return get their picture with the cup. Making it easy. You want to do your part. You want to help the community, and you want to get close to the cup. It's win, win, win. Let's talk about it. it, it I'm not sure if it was meant to be 13 years ago when Pure Leader got on board or not, but it is really a competition between these different CFL cities to bring in the most pounds to help the most to make the biggest dent uh, tackling hunger. How does Calgary stack up compared to the other CFLers? Okay. Well, last year we we set the record with 261,000 pounds of food uh, raised. Um, since we started in 03, it's actually uh, Stampeders fans have generated 840,000 pounds. Now, I was just advised earlier today that uh, Winnipeg got the record this year with 297,000 pounds of food. Whoa. So we got to beat that. We cannot have Winnipeg beating Calgary. You, you don't want that to happen, Calgary, and you heard it from Murray. Now, the, the cup itself, it's pretty cool because you know what? Believe it or not, we like our hockey in Canada, absolutely. But to me, this holds a certain mystique because it seems like the Grey Cup gets out more. Maybe has more fun than the Stanley Cup. What do you think? Yeah, I was just talking to John inside, and he said uh, the Stamps took it to task last year. So, <laughs> I, uh, and it looks that way. It looks like it's had a had its better days. It, 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 it's seen, yeah, it's had a lot of fun. The Grey Cup. Your chance to get close and items we can bring. Are there items in need that people should have on their checklist to bring yeah, on down? For sure, healthy children's snacks. First of all, um, baby food. Canned meats, tunas, pastas, uh, canned vegetables, uh, anything non-perishable. Um, but also, cash donation is really important. Um, when, when we talk about cash donations, every dollar donated, the food bank can buy five dollars worth of groceries. Very cool. And uh, people who can't make it down to the game can actually donate online at purelatertacklehunger.com. Making it super easy for a great cause, Murray. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tip of that to Pure Later, doing what they can. The Great Cup, your chance to get your picture tomorrow. Just to be sure to tackle hunger when you go to the game. And a guy who's tackling hunger uh, is in the studio coming up after the break. John Cornish is yeah. going to join us.